Hey guys, thanks for popping by today. Today I would love to take you around the World Showcase, the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. But as you can see, I'm stuck here in my office. It wasn't meant to be for me this year, but there is this magical creature. Now, I like to call her the Pin Wizard. You may know her by another name. You may know her as Karen from Karen's USA Adventures, but this Pin Wizard that I know, she has magical powers. She has some magical way of getting pins and Disney magic to me at my home in the UK, and I am so, so grateful to Karen for picking these pins up for me. Today, I've got a pin haul from the Epcot Food and Wine Festival to share with you. Karen picked up four of the limited edition pins for me and then also four boxes of these Epcot food and wine new mystery pins so I have got four boxes to open up eight pins in total from these and then four of these new limited edition pins to share with you as well so shall we head over to the Epcot Food and Wine Festival today? If you are new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Vicky and I have a little bit of an obsession with Disney pins. So if you enjoy a Disney pin unboxing and you like to see other Disney related things, Disney subscription boxes, Disney hauls, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I would love for us to get lost in Disney together sometime soon. So I've got a lot to get through and I'm actually supposed to be going out to a gig later tonight. So I'm in fact in an hour's time. So I really need to get through these quickly. Quickly. So before jumping into the mystery pin boxes, I'm going to share with you the pins that Karen was so kind to pick up and send my way. Now there were four limited edition um, releases for Epcot Food and Wine this year. Um, which I really liked and which I had my eye on. There is one in particular, which I'm sure you, if you saw it you um, and you watched the channel before, I'm sure you know which one it is that I particularly, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that it's even being released and got super excited about. But let's go through the other ones first. So there were a couple of um, pin on pin designs. This first one I'm going to share with you is Cinderella and Gus Gus. I absolutely adore Gus Gus. He is so cute. He is so funny. And I love that he's in this pin trying to carry as much of those little corn things as he can, just like he does in the movie. Cinderella does not seem to mind that she has a mouse on her tea tray, but um, maybe she's about to serve it to one of her ugly sisters. Anyway, I think this pin is really cute and really glad that um, Karen was able to pick this one up for me. The next pin is more of a slider pin. So on the front here we have Pooh and Piglet sat in his armchair and he does kind of slide towards the honey. It's like he's magnetized to the honey and he's just sliding forwards to it. It's like it's calling him. There are a ton of pots of honey here with him. I really like that on the background in the um, top corner of the pin it says Epcot Food and Wine Festival, but it isn't actually dated. So the pin itself hasn't actually got a date on it. The same with um, this one down here, down on the little um, chimney, I think it is, down on the Cinderella pin. It also says Epcot International Food and wine festival but it doesn't say 2009 on it now I'm not a big fan of dated pins so I'm really glad that they put that on but left the date out maybe Disney is starting to listen that yeah dated pins not so not so hot but anyway back to this Winnie the Pooh pin I think it's really really cool that they've included Owl up there I don't know if he's peeking through a window looking at Pooh like you're eating way too much honey Pooh or he's Pooh's randomly got a picture of, um, of Owl up on his wall. But these are really cool. So these pins are a limited edition of 4,000. And then the next pin is this one, which I absolutely love and adore. I think this is a really, really cool design. This one does have the date on it. It does say Food and Wine International Festival 2019, and it's a recipe for a figment. You can make your own figment. All you need is this pin and these ingredients. And what I really love about this pin, look how cool it is. So it just opens up like this. 
how amazing is that i don't i don't own a pin like this until now this is a really really cool pin i love that um each of the like sieves or the colanders at the top have different ingredients in so this top one has delight royal purple pigment and imagination down here you just need a bit of spark and a bit of inspiration and then you'll have your very own figment how cool is this pin i really really love this pin oh my gosh just realized up here as well um, there is a little pass holder um, symbol up on here as well so this must be a pass holder exclusive pin which is really cool I did wonder why see these pins the limited edition label down at the bottom is in pink whereas on this one it's silver so this must be a little bit more special because it's a pass holder exclusive thank you so much Karen for picking these up for me but the one that has grabbed my heart is this one? Oh my gosh it's blue and mowgli i love this so if you've not watched my channel before you may not have heard um me talk about blue but i absolutely love blue i'm sure if you you know wait till the end of my video or even my little image down here sometimes pops up or is it down this side um you can sometimes see that um little blue symbol down there i am obsessed with blue i love him so much i have a little bit of a blue collection so as soon as i saw that this pin had been released i had to have this one especially because it doesn't say um the food and wine festival in it at all it doesn't mention that i normally only like to have pins from festivals and events if i've actually been to the event so i was really glad that this one didn't actually have that information on the front of the pin it does have it on the back of the pin obviously it's a pin on pin design the background is this gorgeous leafy green i love how some of the leaves are a bit iridescent they're really really colorful and beautiful and then blue i love this scene with him stacking his um like pawpaws and things on his claw so that he can eat it um obviously it reminds me of the song the necessities where he does that in that scene and that's kind of like a mantra for my channel is um yeah <laughs> come here to forget about your worries and your strife so i love that song i love this pin i'm really really glad that i now have this in my collection thank you so much karen i'm super grateful to have this one Now, I'm sorry if I rush through those really quickly, but this is a Mystery Monday video. You're here for mystery pin unboxings, right? And I have got four Epcot Food and Wine pin boxes to share with you. I just had to show you those pins um, because I'm super grateful for Karen to picking them up for me. I thought you'd be interested in seeing them as well. And I just had to show off that blue pin. So I'm sorry that your Mystery Monday got hijacked by a little bit of a haul, but now time for these mystery pins. So as I said, I've got four of these to open up. So I've got eight pins to share with you. Each box contains two pins. This is an 11 pin collection. So it represents each of the pavilions within Epcot's World Showcase. Each pavilion is, in, um, is represented in this box. So there are eight different countries in the World Showcase. There are eight different pins in this box. So there's quite a few on here that I'm after. I really love the packaging on this. I really like the design. I'm so desperate to go to food and wine. Hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully not too long before I get to go, but not this year, unfortunately. However, let's see which countries we can visit today in the form of mystery pins. There are quite a few on here that I'm after. In fact, I would say that there are maybe five. I'm not really interested in completing the set. There are just select few that I've got my eye on. Of course, Donald Duck. I'm trying to channel my Donald vibes. By the way, if you didn't, if you were looking at these ears trying to figure out what they were. They have my Donald ears. I made these myself and I decided to wear them today as a kind of channel some magic to, to get me this Donald pin. I'm not sure it's going to work though. I made these ears myself. They didn't come from Disney. They didn't come from the parks. So whether they actually contain any magic, I'm not sure. I'm hoping 
that because I made them myself that makes them even more special and more magical. Maybe, hopefully, I guess we'll find out today if I manage to get this Donald pin. But that is why I'm wearing Donald inspired ears today. I am desperate for this Donald pin. I've never been to Mexico but it's got Donald on it so I want it. The other countries that I would love are China. So um, Minnie is in China eating some dim sum. My boyfriend is Chinese. I have been to Hong Kong. We are planning on going to Hong Kong and doing a kind of tour of China as well. We eat dim sum quite a lot, quite often. So um, yeah, would really love to get that Minnie Mouse pin. Obviously I'm in the UK, so I'd love to get the UK pin. I'm not a huge Winnie the Pooh collector and I have absolutely no idea what he's eating in this pin. Um, but it's got Big Ben on it, it's got the Union Jack on it. Um, so yeah, I would really love to get the UK pin, obviously representing my, um, my home country. The other pins on here that I quite like are the Stitch pin, he is in Japan. Japan is one of my favourite places in the whole entire world to visit. I've been twice before, we're hoping to go next year, we were hoping to go to the Olympics. It's not looking, it's not looking like it's going to happen but I think we're still going to go anyway. And Stitch is eating some sushi in this pin. So by the way, I don't think I mentioned but each of these pins has a, um, a Disney character on it, it has a flag representing the pavilion in the background or the country in the background and then the character is eating some kind of traditional food from that country. So I'm going to have a bit of trouble trying to figure some of these out. Um, but which other one am I really after? Oh, I'd love to get the Mickey Mouse one as well. I think he's eating lobster, but it's got the States on there. Um, falling more and more in love with visiting the States every time I go. So I would really love to get that one. So what's that? Donald, Mickey, Minnie, Stitch and Winnie the Pooh. There are the five that I'm after. Let me give you a quick close up of the ones we can get so you can decide which ones you would hope to get for the, from this box and then we'll get them open. So I might need a little bit of help with these pins. All of the characters I think I can name, um, the countries I think I can just about figure them all out but the food I'm definitely going to need some help with. So let's get this first box open and see what's inside. Okay, first pin. I am going to have a feel and see if I can figure it out. It's been a while, it feels like ages since I've done any mystery pin unboxings but let me have a feel. Hmm. Okay, this one feels like it could be, oh, I have absolutely no idea, no idea. Oh, corner just poked out. Oh, I think, I think this might be Chip and Dale. It is super, super cute. Now, it wasn't one of the ones I was hoping for, but yay, it's Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale are adorable. They remind me of my friend Beth from the Collectioneers Club. Um, so I love it for that reason as well, but Canada is one of the places I, it's like top of my list of places I wish to go. I've never been, but I would absolutely love to go soon. Um, so yeah, I think that's a really, really cool pin for a first pull. I have absolutely no idea what they are eating. I don't know any traditional Canadian dishes. As I just said, I've never been. It does look like they're having some bread and soup though. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Although it kind of looks like a, a tub of butter. Maybe they're just having bread and butter. Let me know what you think. Okay, next pin. Feels like Chippendale as well, but it definitely can't be because that would be terrible if Disney are now doing double pins in the same box. What could this be? Oh, maybe it's France? Maybe? Oh no, it's not! <laughs> It's a UK. I'm so glad we got the UK. This is a really, really cute pin. Oh my gosh, the Union Jack on here with Winnie the Pooh in his bright yellow colours. This is really sweet. I, like I said, absolutely no idea what on earth he's eating. It kind of looks like a pie or a beef wellington. I guess they would be classic UK dishes. He really should be eating fish and chips, I think. Um, or like bangers and mash. 
or a Sunday roast and those things come to mind. What on earth he's eating? I have no idea. Kind of looks like a brown log covered in some kind of pastry. So I'm gonna guess this is beef wellington. Definitely a classic UK dish, so maybe that's what it is. By the way, I've just realized my lighting in here this evening is awful. You can definitely tell that fall is coming in because um, yeah, the evenings are getting much darker now. So I'm sorry if the lighting's awful, but I'm getting straight into this second box. Really hoping for a Donald. Right, okay. First things first, I'm hoping that there are no doubles in this box. This feels unusual. <gasps> No, no, no. No, I don't think it is. Oh, I got excited. I thought it was Stitch, but I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, please be Stitch. Please be Stitch. I'm Stitch! <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, probably second to Donald, the one I wanted the most. This is so cool. Oh my god, I'm so happy to have Stitch. He looks awesome. He's like stood there with his arms crossed like, yeah, I eat sushi. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh my gosh, I love this pin and I love sushi. I love Japan, I love Stitch. This pin is perfect. I am so pleased with this one. Mm, next pin, come on, let's stay doubles free. Let's stay doubles free. Who could this be? Ooh, hmm, no. I thought maybe Mickey, but um, no, I don't think it is. Maybe Minnie? No. Oh, I've got no idea. Please be Donald, please be Donald, please be Donald. Please be Donald, please be Donald. Please be Donald. Oh, I can't get it out. Yes! Oh, Karen, you picked some amazing boxes. It is Donald. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. See, these ears have more magic than shop bought ears any day. Oh my gosh, I need to start making myself some more ears. This is awesome, oh, I'm so happy. I definitely need to get myself to Mexico. I love Mexican food. Donald looks like he's having maybe prawn tacos, it looks like. Um, oh, I just love Donald so, so much. Oh, I'm so pleased, thank you, thank you, yay! <laughs> I don't think we're doing too badly. Still got two boxes to go and so far I have three of the five that I wanted. So two more pins that I'm desperate to get. Now I'm kind of worrying about doubles, but let's see. Oh, this does not feel like a double though. Okay, not one of the two that I wanted, but a really, really cool one. I'm not sad about having this one at all because I think he's gonna be a really good trader. He is super cute and it is a Duffy bear. He is in Norway. Now, Norway, um, I've never been. It was on my list. We were supposed to go this um, this fall. We were supposed, in autumn even. I should say autumn, not fall. I'm in the UK. Anyway, we were supposed to go at the end of September, but we couldn't get a dog sitter. So now we're going down to the south coast of England. We're doing, um, we're going to do the Jurassic Coast. We're going to do Stonehenge. We're going to go to Brighton. So that will be a ton of fun to get to take the doggy along with us. But we were supposed to go to Norway. I would love to go and see the, fjord, the fjords there. Um, Duffy in this pin is eating school bread. Now I had never heard of school bread until I went to Epcot last year and tried it in Epcot then. Um, it is delicious, um, I can't, I just remember it being very sweet. I can't really remember much more than it other than it was being sweet and I enjoyed it. So um, I would quite, I wouldn't quite mind trying some um, more school bread right now. This is really cute though, Duffy looks cute. He's wrapped up nice and warm. It must be cold in Norway this time of year. Really, really cool pin. I have no idea what the um, landmark is depicted in the background. In fact, I have no idea on any of the pins so far what the landmark is. Um, Canada has some kind of building in the background. Obviously, in um, in the Japan pin, we've got um, a temple in the background. Mexico kind of looks like that. Um, oh my gosh, I should really know this. 
that tower, it's like a natural wonder or something. Um, cannot remember what that's called. Please remind me in the comments. And then obviously we've got, um, I thought it was Big Ben, but it's not Big Ben. It looks like the Houses of Parliament maybe in the background with Winnie the Pooh. Anyway, where's my, where's my next pin? Here we go. Okay, it's doing really well. So far five unique pins. I've got a feeling this one might be a double though. I think this is a double. Yes, it is. It's another Chip and Dale, but I don't mind because they are super cute. Hopefully somebody else will want this to be able to trade um, with one of the other ones that I'm hoping for. Um, but yeah, you've already seen him, them even. So final box, final box. Two pins that I'm still hoping for. Hopefully this is a mouse box. Hopefully we've got Mickey and Minnie in here. Having a feel, I'm not convinced that it is. I'm not convinced at all that this is, but. Oh, <laughs> it's not, but it's not a double either. So that's really awesome. Oh my gosh, so far only one double. We've got Germany. So Grumpy is in Germany. Again, no idea what the landmark is in the background, but down at the front, he is eating a pretzel. I love salted pretzels, but I kind of imagine Bratwurst with Germany. Christmas markets, the Christmas markets in Manchester are so awesome and they always do huge, huge Bratwurst from German, like it's like a German Christmas market. Hopefully it gets to go to the actual German Christmas markets one year. Until then, the Manchester ones will have to do. But for me, um, yeah, definitely a Bratwurst, although I would not say no to a pretzel. Final pin! Oh my gosh, thank you so much Karen for picking these up for me. This has been such fun! Okay, come on, let's have a mousy pin. A mousy pin. Mousy, mousy, mousy. Out of the two mice, um, USA or China, I think I would have to vote for China. Oh no, it's not! It's, it's not Minnie, but it is Mickey! Oh, I love it! Oh, now that I'm seeing it, I'm actually really glad that it's Mickey and not Minnie, because this is awesome! <gasps> He's kind of having lobster in a hot dog bun with a side of lemon. Is that how you eat lobster over there? Do you eat lobster in hot dog buns? If so, I mean, if so, that sounds delicious. I will not say no to that. Um, this looks really cool. I have no idea what the building is in the background, um, but obviously you've got to have Mickey with the USA. This is so cool. I'm super happy with this. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed hopping around the world with me this afternoon. We visited seven, seven different countries out of the eight. I can't believe I only got one double. I'm amazed. Karen, you truly are a pin wizard. We only got one double and that was Canada. We didn't get my mini mouse, but to say that I, there were only five pins I was after and to get four of them, I am super, super happy. Hopefully somebody either wants Canada, Germany or Norway to trade for my mini mouse. If that's you, then please get in touch down below. I hope you didn't mind me throwing in a little haul at the beginning of the video as well. I just had to showcase those pins. They are amazing, especially that blue one. I hope that you enjoyed watching and a huge, huge thank you to Karen for sending me these pins. She also sent me some of the Hidden Mickey, the new orange pouches. So that will be coming to you next week. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below, especially if you are wanting to trade that, um, Mini mouse pin for one of the ones that I opened up today that I am not that interested in keeping. I would love to hear from you, but otherwise, leave a comment down below. Let me know which country from the Epcot showcase you love to visit the most. If you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below before you go and that notification bell so that you do not miss any Mystery Mondays from me. I've got more stuff coming, especially for Halloween. I've got spooky Mondays coming for you. Thanks so much for popping by today, guys. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.